Hi everyone, this is Financial Education Ranger. The stock market is on sale recently. Which stocks and ETF to buy heavy in this stock market crash? In this video, I will focus on why space industry is still at the early stage and how can we invest in it. I will also talk about Rocket Lab, the main competitor of SpaceX, the best part most investors miss out for this 10x stock, and how to invest in both company and the ETF. Remember to watch the whole video. Okay, check it out. Morgan Stanley estimated that satellite broadband will represent 50 to 70 percent of the projected growth of the global space economy. Satellite launch and satellite internet are the main driver of the space ecosystem. SpaceX Falcon 9 is a huge rocket for bigger satellites. For low Earth orbit small satellites, they need to wait for a long time. There is a huge demand for small satellites as there are 50% of people in the world still do not have access of broadband internet. The largest opportunity will come from providing internet access to under and unserved parts of the world. After people have broadband, the demand for quality video, internet of things, artificial intelligence, virtual reality will increase as well. At the same time, there will be increased demand for bandwidth from autonomous cars. Satellite broadband revenue could approach 10 billion per year in the US and 40 billion globally during the next 5 to 10 years. The market for connected planes, trains, and motor vehicles is likely to reach 36 billion in 2025. Governments globally are likely to add further to the demand for space services. In total, the satellite connectivity markets could approach 100 billion annually over the medium term. So for those who want to buy ETF, UFO is one of the choice. By the way, please subscribe, like and share this channel. It's covered communication, space tourism, space exploration, defense systems, space colonization, infrastructure and space tech that enable space economy. It's covered companies in USA, France, Japan, Italy, and Israel. Rocket Lab is one of the only two US commercial companies delivering regular access to orbit. 97 satellites deployed for governments and private companies across 16 missions. They have the only reusable small launch vehicle. They have the first 3D print rocket engine and have the production facilities capable of producing a rocket every week. Rocket Lab has two launch sites one in the US and one in New Zealand. It is second most frequently launched US orbital rocket with proven photon spacecraft platform already operating on orbit and mission book to the Moon, Mars and Venus. Group of top tier institutional investors have committed to participate in the transaction for a significantly oversubscribed PIPD of approximately 470 million. If 30 light total investor include Victor Capital, BlackRock, and Liberger Berman. Its customer base is evenly split across government and commercial organizations, including the National Aeronautics States and Space Administration (NASA), the NRO, and the DARPA, as well as commercial satellite leaders. Right now, there is no medium lift cars launch rocket. Rocket Lab today in view a medium lift neutron rocket and one new generation reusable launch vehicle with an 8 ton payload lift capacity needed for mega constellation, deep space missions, and human spaceflight, which will compete with SpaceX directly. Neutron will be able to lift more than 90% of all satellites forecast to launch through 2029 and introduce high disruptive lower cost to the high growth constellation market by leveraging electrons heritage, launch size and architecture. With electron and neutron rockets, it can capture 98% of all the markets of satellites to launch through 2029. On the other hand, Rocket Lab's Photon spacecraft family delivers a satellite as a surface solution that eliminates the typical high cost time and capacity customers face when building their own satellites. With Rocket Lab, customers can buy a launch satellite on surface 
and on orbit management as a turnkey package, resulting in a disruptive reduction in cost and time to orbit. Walker Lab has an operational photon satellite in orbit, with additional missions to the Moon, Mars, and Venus planned. In 2021, Walker Lab will employ Electron and Potron to launch a satellite to lunar orbits for NASA to serve as a precursor for Gateway, a moon-orbiting outpost that is part of NASA's Artemis program to return humans to the lunar surface. The Venus mission in 2023 will search for life in Venus, and the 2024 Mars mission will study the Mars atmosphere. So, what is the potential total addressable market for Walkett Lab? The Walkett launch division is 10 billion for the space systems, small satellite mega constellations, space infrastructure, satellite constellation deployment, replenishment, multiple governments on high value deep space, planet exploration and discovery mission is 20 billion. Current booking for 2021 represent 90% of 69 million forecast revenue, 96% year to year growth. Forecast EBITDA positive in 2023. And cash flow positive in 2024. Forecasting forcing 1 billion revenue in 2026. With enterprise value of $4.1 billion as $10 per share, this is a 5.4 times multiple based on 2025 revenues. There will be cash process of $787 million, $467 million from a BIPD, and $320 million from Walker Lab equity ownership. So what is the main missing part which no one talk about? It is the space application. Market growth driven by demand for space-based connectivity, Earth observation, including synthetic aperture radar, electro-optical NRF, and other services. Significant untapped potential for value-added services include data management and analytics to support end customers' insights. This part of total adjustable market is $320 billion. The company did not include the space application project revenue in this page. Remember, total adjustable market is $320 billion. 10 times more than the launch and space system. So imagine if this projected revenue times 10. The company has 10 times pencil. The stock symbol of Walker Lab is VACQ. If you like this company, wait for the market correction finish before investing in it. For SpaceX, the most frequently launched US orbital rocket company. If you want to invest in it, option 1, buy it through Google as its own 8% of SpaceX. Option 2, invest in Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust, which own 0.7% of SpaceX. Option 3, Bali Default US Growth Trust, which own 1.3% of SpaceX. Arc Space ETF will launch on March 29 at the earliest. SpaceX may be spin off Starlink and take the company public. Both Walker Lab and Starlink have great potential in the ARC Space ETF. We should feel happy about the correction of the market because we can invest in high growth sector at a much cheaper price. Remember, if the NASDAQ and S&P 500 can stabilize for a few days, after its bottom, it will bounce back as the Fed keep on printing money. Those fund managers need to invest back in the market. Throughout history, those sectors that can go through the downturn will always win in the long run. Space industry is definitely one of them they will get into it. This video is for education purpose only. You should be responsible for your own investment decision. Please leave comments below, like, share and subscribe this channel. Mm.